kill and knock out a bunch of enemies in the process. And I think that if that were to be implemented in Super Mario Maker, people could come up with fun and creative ideas around those slopes. There is a reason that this is the most highly requested feature that people want in Super Mario Maker, and that's why I'm requesting for it in this video. The final thing that I want, and it branches off into a couple other things, new power-ups. If I was a hardcore fan of new Super Mario Bros. U, and I'm a fan of it, I'm, I'm not one of the most hardcore fans in the world, I would be pretty upset that the Acorn Suit power-up was snubbed from that game, and instead the propeller suit was chosen to be the power-up representing that game in Super Mario Maker. Now, I'm a firm believer that the propeller suit is a lot better than the acorn suit, I prefer it as a power-up in general, but I don't understand why you couldn't implement that one as well. I get that they only wanted to implement one type of special power-up per game theme, but that's kind of a ridiculous idea to begin with. Why don't you just make all the power-ups able to be in all of the game themes and implement some new ones while you're at it? What about the frog or hammer suits from Super Mario Bros. 3? What about the ice flower? That is one of the greatest power-ups introduced in the new Super Mario Bros. series, and it would be very hard to experience a 2D Mario game in the future without that type of flower being in the game. Add the penguin suit, as that is basically a step on top of the ice flower to begin with. There are just so many power-ups within the 2D Mario games that are not represented in Mario Maker that I think would create so many more level possibilities. That's really the theme with all of the features that I'm talking about in this video. I mentioned New Super Mario Bros. U, and if you want to hear my thoughts on New Super Mario Bros. U coming to the Switch in the form of another port, check out the video that I have linked on screen for you. Remember to subscribe with notifications on so that you don't miss the next upload, and I'll see you next time perfect, but any new enemy inclusions would obviously greatly increase the depth that people could have to their levels in Mario Maker. The next feature that I want to see is one that's not requested too often, but it's something that I definitely like from various 2D Mario levels. These are the fences. You know what the fences are in Mario levels, right? The ones where you scale upon them, and then there's the doors on the fences where you could punch it as Mario and switch around to the other side, and it's a great mechanic where you could use it to avoid enemies. Yeah, these are pretty fun. If you haven't experienced a level that implements these fences in a 2D Mario game, and I can't really blame you, they're not the most common things to see, although they are in a few games, I would definitely encourage you to try one out because it's a really fun idea. And while I believe that in most of the times that fences are implemented into the main series Mario games, they aren't used to their full potential, that would definitely be able to be done in Super Mario Maker, where the creativity is only to the limits of the creators. Fences are so much different than vines. While well, vines just allow you to climb on them and you could switch between vines and that is a feature that is already in Mario Maker, fences do have the extra layer of depth as you're able to be on both sides of them. Enemies can also be placed on the fences such as Koopa Troopas where if you're on the opposite side of Koopa Troopa in one of the main Mario games you could punch it and kill it that way. And I would have to wonder that if that ability is implemented The first new thing that I would want in Super Mario Maker Switch are some new level themes. We got some of the basic ones in the original Super Mario Maker. Your planes level, your water level, your castle, your airship level. All the stuff that you would really expect, but nothing outside of the box too much. There was no desert themed level, no snow themed level, no jungle theme, anything like that. It's like Nintendo just wanted to stick to the basics and not travel too far outside of that. Now some of you may be thinking that some of these level concepts that I'm- Super Mario Maker was a very popular title on the Wii U and 3DS. It allowed Mario fans to experience a game concept that they have been dreaming of for a long time, a game which centers around being able to build your own Mario levels. And not only that, you could also share them with the rest of the world so that other people could play and experience your ideas. And Mario Maker when it came out came with a ton of features, and in post-launch updates it even added more features to the game, but still fans wanted more. And if Super Mario Maker would ever come to the Nintendo Switch, I definitely think that it should include the 10 features that I'm going to be talking about in this video that we do see fairly frequently weren't included in Super Mario Maker. Now I get that some of them would be a little bit more tricky to implement than others, but there is no doubt that fans would love to see an enemy such as the Charging Chuck implemented into Mario Maker. Pokies are other enemies that people would like to see. Now I get the argument that you could stack enemies on top of each other and that basically mimics what the Pokey is, but there are definitely some other aspects about the Pokey that are unique to them. Another enemy that many fans would like to see are the Wamps. Wamps are enemies that aren't seen too often in the 2D Mario titles and are mostly reserved for the 3D Mario titles, 
obviously, as their mechanics are more geared towards a 3D environment, but I definitely do enjoy seeing them in the two 2D appearances that they make. It's just an idea for Nintendo to throw those guys in there. There's so many others, and I'm sure you have some ideas that you could leave in the comments section down below that would be talking about weren't included because the original Super Mario Brothers and some of the older games didn't have these kinds of levels in them. Yeah, but the original Super Mario Brothers also didn't have ghost houses, so the fact that some of the original games didn't include these level themes is definitely not the reason that Nintendo is not including them. Nintendo could definitely whip up a design for a jungle themed level in the original Super Mario Brothers and everything would be fine. But if Mario Maker were to come to the Switch, this is definitely something that I'd like to see. Just more aesthetic variety would really increase the enjoyment of people playing Mario levels, at least mine. The next new thing I want in Super Mario Maker Switch are some new enemies. We got a ton of great enemies to choose from in the original Super Mario Maker. But there are so many enemies from the Mario universe that I talk about in several videos on this channel that I would really wish get represented some more, and even some of the ones how they play the level. And that when somebody's playing a level online, they could perhaps choose a different character that they think would be better to complete that level. This would add so much more depth to the game, like most of the features that I'm talking about in this video, or have the option where the creator could restrict the player to one specific character if the level is specifically designed for a character. I think this would also be a good way to implement Captain Toad levels the best into Super Mario Maker. That's something that a lot of people are trying to design, and while many people have workarounds for a lot of the things that I'm talking about in this video, like Captain Toad levels, for example, I think that should be a thing that's more streamlined and easier to implement, and by including Captain Toad as an option for a playable character in the game, that would be an easy way to do that. You already have multiple playable characters in the form of the amiibo skins, now you just gotta give them some abilities. The next feature that I would like are more bosses. We got Bowser and Bowser Jr. and Mario Maker, and those are some fun bosses to go up against but you would like some more options. How about adding in at least one of the Koopalings and giving some difference like that where they have their magic wands and they're able to shoot them at you. That's a different mechanic that you could implement in the bosses. How about either Boom Boom or Pom Pom as one of the bosses and have the flailing arms and having them jump around. That's a unique mechanic and unique type of boss. I would have grouped the bosses category into the new enemies category, but I thought it was very different because an enemy just does the one action and they're not really meant to be a full on boss encounter, whereas the boss is one of those three hit kill things and you have to add a little bit more depth into the mechanics behind the bosses to make them the best. The next feature that I hear really a lot of people talking about and requesting for is the ability to have vertical levels. With Super Mario Maker right now, you could only go two screens high. Why don't you make the vertical limit in a similar way to how you make the horizontal limit? This would add so many more possibilities to Mario Maker levels. Now, if the reason for why vertical levels aren't implemented is so that it would conserve space and have the level not crash because of the abundance of assets, the solution to this could be having the ability to choose between making a longer vertical level or a longer horizontal level. Choose which one you'd want and then that wouldn't be an issue if it happens to be one. The next feature that I want is one of the most highly requested ones and it is slopes. I seriously don't know why this isn't a thing. Do they think that having diagonal ground is going to break the game? I really don't understand it. They have diagonal tracks, you could curve the tracks, all that stuff. You just have to make ground a tile which you could bend in different ways. I love going through some of the Mario games and being able to slide down the head into Super Mario Maker would it spread to other enemies as well other than the Koopa Troopas? It would be very funny to see a Goomba climb one of the fences without it having arms. But hey, in some spin-off Mario titles, Goombas are shown to hold baseball bats without any arms, so there's no real limit there. The next thing that I want in Super Mario Maker Switch are some online improvements. If you ask anybody who enjoys to play the levels more than make them in Mario Maker in that community, they would definitely tell you that the online needs some improvements. Maybe the ability to direct search for levels by name? Now, I know that could get a little bit messed up if you have a very popular level with a specific name and then a bunch of other people try to name their levels the exact same thing to try and flood the search, but you could do an easy thing to get around that and that is rank the levels when you search for them by name by the amount of stars that they have and that would be a good filtration system to be able to see what levels people are actually talking about and not having to use that code mechanic that was already implemented in Mario Maker to search for levels. While I think that the code mechanic should stay for levels that have more complicated names, 
I really think that this would just be a great quality to life improvement that people want to see in the game, regardless of how clunky it would be at times. Another improvement to the online, this is sort of related to a 100 Mario challenge, and I would definitely like better filtering for good levels, other than just giving people levels based on clear rate. If you're a little bit lost as to what I'm talking about here, in a 100 Mario challenge, based on the difficulty level that you select for yourself, the levels that you were able to play through are given to you based on what the game determines to be an easy, medium, or difficult level. But sometimes, even when you're in the easy section, it'll just be a level where the flagpole is right in front of you, and there's not too much gameplay to be done. Or it's one of those auto levels. Maybe they could factor in the time it takes to clear the level. Maybe that would help improve things a little bit. I get that this would be a little bit more complicated for Nintendo to fix, but it's something that the game definitely needs. The next feature that I want in Mario Maker Switch is the ability to add water and lava to other level themes as tiles. Do you ever experience those beach levels in some of the new Super Mario Bros. games? Lots of them are fun. Even in Super Mario Bros. 3, it had levels with this concept. Levels where the big cheap cheap is swimming around in the water and it'll jump out and eat you if you get too close to it so you have to stay on the platforms above the water on a regular land surface. This mix between land and water is something that is not found within Mario Maker as if you select the water theme your entire level has to be based on water and if you select the castle theme that is the only theme in which you could actually get lava. I would definitely like for these two various substances to be able to be implemented into regular levels such as a plains level and I could have water at the bottom of the level instead of just having to have either all water or no water. You could create these tiles so that they're only able to be placed on top of the ground or themselves so that you can't just have people putting water in the middle of the air just to balance it out a little bit and make it more like an actual level that you would see in a main Mario game. And I really don't understand why this isn't a feature already. When Mario Maker comes to the Switch, I would definitely like this to be something that's added. The next feature that I would like in Mario Maker Switch is the option to have other playable characters. This was done in Super Mario Bros. 2 the best. Each of the four character options had their own distinct abilities that made them different. Some of them were better at jumping, some of them were faster, and that's a mechanic that I would really like to see implemented in Mario Maker. What if instead of having the multiple character option as it's presented in New Super Mario Bros. Wii and New Super Mario Bros. U, where all of the characters have the exact same strengths. Make it like Super Mario Bros. 2 or Super Mario 3D World, where each of the characters have different abilities that make them slightly different.